Got bed bugs? Not sure what to do? We're going to talk a little bit more about what you can do today to protect yourself from bed bugs. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah, not such an innocent nursery rhyme anymore, is it? Bed bugs are on the rise. Bed bugs are everywhere. If you're living with bed bugs, this video is going to tell you a little bit more about what you can do today to protect yourself so that you can sleep, hopefully, a little bit better. Chances are you're probably watching this video in the middle of the night. That's pretty common. A lot of people that have bed bugs can't sleep. Good thing about bed bugs is that they're not known to transfer any type of uh, illnesses or diseases. So unlike a mosquito, thank goodness, bed bugs, hopefully, as far as all the research has been done, aren't known to pass any type of pathogens or any type of virus or diseases. So hopefully that lets you sleep a little bit better tonight. But I'm not here to tell you about uh, why you should be able to sleep with, with parasites feasting on your body. No, I'm here to tell you how you can actually prevent them or reduce the number of bites so you can get a good night's rest today. So first thing, bed bugs uh, typically are going to be camped out around your bed. So before we can talk about what you can do to prevent bed bugs, uh, bed bug bites, let's talk a little bit more about what you shouldn't do. The first reaction that most people have when they find bed bugs is to go sleep on the couch. I don't blame you. The problem with bed bugs is that bed bugs can actually sense your carbon dioxide when you breathe out, your body heat. Those things they're attracted to. So if you're sleeping in your bed, and that's where they're used to you sleeping, and all of a sudden you go sleep in another room, within a short amount of time, that bed bug infestation from your room, for example, will now be not only in your room, it'll also be on your couch and inside your couch. It means when people come and visit, guess what? They might be taking home a little extra gift. And I'm sure your guests don't want to be taking home bed bugs. So the number one rule, if you have bed bugs, although it sounds terrible, is to stay in the same spot. Remember, bed bugs are not known to pass any type of diseases. Yes, you can get some rashes, and there are some things you can do to prevent those rashes or to treat those rashes. But let's just talk a little bit more about common sense of what you can do to protect yourself from getting eaten alive. So, first things first. Bed bugs uh, typically are going to be inside your bed frame or in the walls next to your bed or in some furniture next to your bed. That's the most common spots for bed bugs. They can be in all sorts of different places, but the, you know, bed, the, for example, the bed head or the uh, headboard. Uh, is a very common place. The box springs is a very common place. What you can do is you can pull the mattress, as shown in this picture here, and you can see if you've got the little signs of bed bugs. If you do, there's a good chance they're inside your, your box spring or your mattress. Now, you may be in a location where you can't get one of those fancy covers that, you know, covers your bed. Uh, they actually call them bed bug covers. Uh, and that's okay. If you're not in a location where you can get one, I'm going to show you a way that you can actually wrap your bed and get the same effect. Uh, we were teaching people this way before bed bug uh, covers even came on the market. So we know it is effective. So first thing, as I would tell you to grab the vacuum, uh, that's going to be the first step, believe it or not. So what I want you to do is I want you to pull that bed from outside of the wall there. Uh, take the covers, and I suggest you go throw them in the uh, dry cycle in the dryer. The dry cycle, the heat from that will kill all the bed bugs that are on your sheets or your covers, uh, including any eggs. Uh, you don't need to wash them. Well, I mean, I suggest washing them, but if you're just looking to get some sleep tonight and you want a quick fix, throw those things in the, in the dryer. That's going to kill the bed bugs immediately that are attached to your sheets. Uh, the next thing is when that's drying, you just run it in the dry cycle for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes would be fine. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab the vacuum and vacuum around the mattress. Get as many of, of the, uh, where the signs are in the seams, try to, try to get all that, and just vacuum as much as you can. That might help get rid of some of the eggs that have been laid, 
which, by the way, are very hard to see. Uh, and so the vacuum uh, is going to be an effective way of kind of scooping those up. Now remember, this is just a temporary solution to help you sleep better tonight. I'm not showing you how to eradicate bed bugs by yourself, because that's really impossible. Uh, you're going to really need some professionals to treat bed bugs. But this is going to help you sleep a little bit better tonight. So we've pulled the bed out from the wall. Okay? You've taken the sheets or the covers, and you've thrown them in the dry cycle. If you don't have access to a dry cycle or to a dryer, uh, then don't worry about it. You can skip that step. Uh, if it's too late to vacuum, if you're going to bug the neighbors above you, or maybe you've got kids that are sleeping, you can skip that step too. Uh, in the morning when you wake up, this is some things you might want to do though. You might want to grab the vacuum and, and throw those covers in the dry cycle. Okay, so now that you've pulled the bed out from the wall, you want to make sure that nothing is touching the wall, nightstand, a chair or furniture that you have in there, piles of clothes, junk, uh, anything that you have around the bed, make sure it's not touching your bed or your bed frame. So you basically want to make your bed an island in your bedroom. Why is this important? Uh, a lot of bed bugs will, a lot of times bed bugs will in, uh, lay eggs inside the walls and they'll actually come out of the walls at night and up into your bed. So just like everything else, they have to crawl uh, and walk. Uh, they don't fly, and so they will walk up the easiest path. So if you have covers even touching the ground, they will crawl up the covers. So when you do put your covers back on, it's important you tuck them in nice and tight and check to make sure they're not draping down around the ground and not touching anything. And... Uh, that's going to help reduce bed bugs getting to your bed. Now, there's one more step to this, and this is actually uh, a good way to check to see if you have bed bugs. If you're, if, if you're watching this video and you just aren't really sure if you have bed bugs or not, I'm going to just teach you a trick right now that will help identify bed bugs and trap bed bugs. So if you have duct tape or some type of a sticky tape, uh, even, even some simple office tape like we've got here uh, would work just fine. Okay, you could use something like this. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this and it's going to wrap around the post of your bed. Okay, You're going to take that and you're going to do it around all of your bed posts. So all four of your bed posts. And you're going to do it about four inches at least. The more you do it, the better, but three to four inches is more than enough. And so you're going to wrap your bed post so it looks like this. And what you've just created is a bed bug trap. So now, when the bed bugs go crawl up your bed, they'll actually get stuck on the tape. And they won't be able to come up and bite you. Sounds really simple. Believe it or not, there's commercial products that are basically the same thing. as just tape wrapped around your post. This you can do uh, even when you're renting a new place. I recommend this to all tenants when you're renting a new place. Uh, to wrap your, your uh, post in tape. Because if there is a previous infestation, when you wake up the next morning, chances are you will have caught some bed bugs if there was a previous infestation that's still active. And if you have, then of course you know to contact your landlord immediately to work out a solution and to get those bed bugs treated before they, of course, uh, become a bigger problem for you. So, that's step number two. This will actually help reduce uh, the number of bites you're going to get, too. Okay, now, if they're already in your mattress, there's another trick I'm going to show you. So, similar to the tape, what I want you to do is grab some saran wrap. Now, there are commercial products out there, bed bug covers. We don't endorse any of them, but I'm sure they work just fine if you would like to use a bed bug cover, uh, which basically just encloses your bed uh, in a cover so the bed bugs can't get out, and it, eventually it kills them. Uh, what you can do is you can take saran wrap. Now, I don't have any here in the office, uh, but the principle is the same as the tape. What you're going to do is you're going to take some saran wrap, and if you've ever seen uh, those prank videos where people wrap uh, cars or office things in saran wrap, well, that's kind of the same thing you're going to do with your bed. Uh, so you're going to take your mattress, and you're going to take that saran wrap, and you're going to just wrap it around and around and around your entire mattress. 
Sounds funny, right? But what it's going to do is going to trap those bed bugs inside your bed. Now, this is a temporary solution because that saran wrap can get kind of hot and sweaty. You know, when you have sheets on top of it, um, it does reduce that a little bit, but it can get a little bit hot and sweaty. But it's way better than sleeping with parasites biting your body. Am I right? Yeah. So those are some simple things you can do right now to help reduce the number of bed bug bites. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, I suggest that, uh, assuming you're watching this at night, if it is the daytime, then of course do it right now. But if you uh, grab your vacuum and just do a very detailed uh, sweep around the bed boards. Bed boards are a really common spot for bed bugs to hide. And so if you are vacuuming the bed boards, and every little nook and cranny you can think of, the carpets you can do too, it's pretty rare that they actually get inside the carpet. Uh, they can, I guess, but uh, most likely they're going to be inside the walls or even behind uh, picture frames. So you can kind of vacuum. You don't have to go nuts with it, but just by vacuuming and hopefully sucking up some of those eggs or even the adults uh, is going to help reduce the number of bites. So the next question, now that you're sleeping a little bit better, uh, if you're a tenant, what can you do about getting these bed bugs eradicated? Because really, what I've talked about tonight is just intended to help you sleep a little bit better. Your first inclination, of course, would be to go sleep on the couch. We talked about that. Not a good idea. That's just going to spread the infestation. Sleeping on the floor, not a good idea. Just going to spread the infestation to your living room. So, these are temporary solutions. Going to a hotel, also not a good idea. Because that's going to spread the bed bugs to the hotel. And bed bugs, they have a, a tendency to lay eggs on clothing, uh, in luggage, in different backpacks, whatever, boxes. They have a way to, to basically uh, lay eggs all over the place. Remember, female bed bugs can lay five eggs per day. So you get a lot of bed bugs, thousands, let's say. Uh, it doesn't take long before these things become a very big problem. So you want to definitely get them eradicated quickly. So if you brought in the bed bugs, uh, then of course you should take responsibility and as soon as you can get the bed bugs treated. Uh, we recommend doing what's called a heat treatment. Heat treatment is the most effective way to kill bed bugs because it kills all stages of the bed bug uh, life cycle. So it kills the eggs, all the larvae, all the way up to the adults. The problem with chemical sprays is they're hard for the environment. They're very toxic, uh, but they're also not very effective. So we don't recommend using uh, chemical treatments. Uh, we've talked to people that have done numerous, numerous, countless uh, chemical treatments, and the bed bugs still keep coming back. And the problem is it's just really hard to get all of the eggs all the adults with a chemical treatment. Once it dries, it can still effectively kill the adults. But the problem is when those eggs hatch, say, eight days later, uh, by then the, um, the spray is really not that effective. So they can walk right over it, and it really doesn't kill them. So they then start laying more eggs, and the infestation becomes a bigger problem again. So chemicals really aren't a good option. If you are forced to use a chemical treatment, I highly recommend that you get the company that you're using to sign some type of a guarantee or provide you with a signed guarantee that says that they guarantee they're going to eradicate the bed bugs uh, or something along those lines. That way, if they aren't able to get the bed bugs completely eradicated, it's now on their back. Uh, it's going to be at their expense to come back and to treat uh, the unit until those bed bugs are completely gone. If not, what it does is just gives them basically a blank check. So the uh, company can come back, the pest control company can come back again and again and keep billing you or your landlord. And what incentive do they really have to get the apartment completely eradicated from bed bugs? Of course, there's the eth ethical question, and you'd hope that they would be ethically willing to do that. But if they're trying to generate income and revenue, it actually is better for them to not get it completely treated. So that's why I say if you're going to use a chemical treatment, or any treatment for that matter, try to get a guarantee from that company so that if it's not eradicated, they're going to come back on their own dime to fix the problem. The next thing, if you uh, feel that the bed bugs are not your responsibility, uh, 
one of the next options would be, of course, to file a complaint through the Rental Protection Agency. Bedbug complaints are the number two complaint filed by tenants in the United States. So if you want to file a complaint, what that will do is it will give you an official complaint, uh, a case number and a PIN number, which you can do to log in and check the status of your complaint. And then the RPA, of course, will contact the landlord and do everything in our power to help get your bed bug problem eradicated as quickly as possible. So if you have any other questions, let us know. This is Scott Paxton with the Rental Protection Agency. Hope you can sleep a little bit better tonight. And don't forget, let's get those bed bugs treated and not spread the problem any further.